All right, boys, we're going to pick it up with video number two here uh, with some routes I forgot that you're going to need to know for the passing game. Now, these are not route tree routes. However, uh, they are routes that we will be using. So I'm going to show them to you. We got a drag here. So what a drag is, is uh, you got a receiver, QB. Drag is just, you know, the quick under route that's ran three yards. Three yards behind the defensive lineman, behind their heels, right? So you wanna be real short across the field from point A to point B. It's an under route when you have linebackers, right? We wanna be underneath them so we can run a route over top, usually a dig route, okay? So that's your drag a corner. Uh, this is a the corner in the terms of, uh, so it shouldn't be that. It's sometimes called a flag route, flag route or it's a slant go corner, right? And we're gonna run it in one play where the receiver comes off the line of scrimmage in a slant, quickly turns it upfield, and then ends it in a corner route, okay? It's a great route against um, defenses to kind of hide where you're going. Uh, oftentimes we'll run it with a post or whatever on the backside, but anyways, uh, the other side it would look something like slant go corner. So I'm gonna call it a flag route as to uh, differentiate it from the other corner route. Okay, an arrow route, you know, um, an arrow route, got QB here. If a player were to just quickly go out to the flat, that's an arrow route. If the guy comes from one side and goes to the other, that's an arrow route. So we have something called an arrow return in a play. So let's say the QB's here. Um, we're gonna use this as a motion arrow here and then he returns to the side he came from puts his foot in the ground we ran this in the seven on seven so it's an arrow return route where the receiver is going to shoot out to the flat and then return to the way he came whip route uh this is an in out route that will run into plays you've seen it before uh let's call it the z receiver in this case right runs fakes inside comes back outside the qb is here Right? Uh, could also be QB. X on the other side runs. Quick in, puts his foot in the ground, returns to the other side. That is a whip route. I think you've had that in your passing game before. So we've got the drag, three yards behind the defensive lineman's feet, the flag route or the slant go corner curl route there. Uh, arrow route is a quick, you know, shot out into the flat area underneath the cornerback. Arrow return is doing that, but coming back to the way you came, returning to where you lined up. Uh, and the whip route is an in-out route or an out-in. The way we're gonna use it in our plays is you're gonna break in first, and then you're gonna break outside, all right? Okay, so next up, formations. Sorry, I'm a little bit jumpy on the camera here. So formations, uh, first some general rules, okay? What we have here is the X is always going to be the furthest player left of the quarterback. And all the formations I'm about to teach, and it's only going to be four, okay? Really, it's three. Doubles, trips left, trips right, trips left bunch, trips right bunch, okay? But since we're on two sides, it sounds like five, but really, there's only three. Uh, the Z, always furthest right of the quarterback. The Y will always be closest to the offensive lineman. Right side dominant, which means more times than not, he'll be on the right side of the formation to the right of the quarterback and center line. The exceptions will be when we go trips left or trips bunch left, where we'll take the Y and move him over to the left side of the field. H, always going to be the slot. That means he's either going to be between a receiver and the offensive line, or he'll be between two receivers. So in a double formation, it'll go receiver, H offensive line and in a trips formation it'll go receiver H another receiver offensive line but he's always going to be in between people um, he's always going to be left side dominant he's the opposite of why he'll his, most of the time line up on the left side with the exceptions being um, the trips right or trips bunch right formations all right those are your rules X always left uh, all always going to be furthest left of the quarterback Z, always going to be furthest right of the quarterback. Y, always closest to the offensive lineman. Right side dominant. Uh, exception to trip le trips left, trips bunch left. 
H always in the slot between the wide receiver and offensive line or two receivers. So he's never going to be at the end of a formation. And uh, he's left side dominant with the exceptions when we go trip right or trips bunch right. All right. So here you go. Let's talk about the five formations you got to learn. Okay. All right. First off, doubles. Okay, here's your quarterback. X out here, furthest left from the quarterback. H in the slot, always slot, left side dominant. X, H, quarterback, or these would be your offensive linemen right here, right? Okay, so you got the H. On the other side is the Y, and then we got the Z. All right, we'll talk about lining up on the line of scrimmage, but right now I just need you to see it. In this case, um, yeah, anyways, we'll talk about that. So a doubles formation is having X and H on the left, Y and Z on the right side. Trips left, X will still be outside, furthest left. Okay, H now will be in the slot between the X and the Y who comes across, right? I said on two formations, the Y comes across, X, H, Y. Okay, here's your offensive line again. Here's your QB, okay? And now we only have Lonely Z on the outside to the right. Trips left, three receivers to the left. Standard formation, right? We'll move these guys off the line of scrimmage. We'll teach you how to line up. And when I give you the uh, full handout, you'll see exactly how they line up and where you're positioned on the line of scrimmage. Trips right. Now X, again, always left most receivers. He'll stay on the left side. Here's our offensive line again. You know, right here. Uh, quarterbacks here. And uh, now we have the Y. Remember, he'll always remain... Remember the rule, uh, closest to offensive linemen. Y, always closest. To, so even though H is coming across, Y will stay closest to the offensive lineman. H will get beside him. And then we'll have Z over on here. So now we're trips right. Three receivers on the right side. Y following his rule, closest to the offensive lineman. H following a rule, always in the slot. In this case, between two receivers. X furthest left, Z furthest right. Trips, left, bunch. Same kind of concept, okay? So what we're doing here is we're gonna have the offensive lineman again, right here. We got our quarterback. Z always stays right. If we're gonna go trips on the other side, it'd be furthest right. And so now we have the bunch. X has to be furthest left. H always slot. Y always closest to the offensive lineman. We're just gonna bunch in a triangle form. Still three receivers to the left, so it's a trips left. Trips left, bunch, or bunch together instead of one, two, three. Okay, trips right, bunch. X stays on that side. Here's your offensive lineman. Here's your quarterback. Remember Y always going to stay closest to the offensive line. H goes to the top again, because he slots. Z always furthest right, following the rules. Z furthest right, X furthest left, Y. Closest to offensive lineman, X always in a slot position. He's been moved to the right now because we're trips right. So there you have it. Five formations, doubles, trips left, trips right, trips left bunch, trips right bunch. Okay. I'll be back with the final video.